are joined by Sana Mir and Babette the leader from the Sapphires. Sana, not your day today. What do you think went wrong for the Sapphires today? I think, uh, to be honest, if, if we see the match, uh, we started off well, but then after that, whether it's the bowling, the fielding or the batting, we need to really uh, improve on, in all three departments. Uh, we couldn't capitalize on the start we got. We had a decent power play with 30 plus on the board and just one, one wicket down. Uh, but yes, the pitch was challenging uh, and I think Warriors bowled really well, both their spinners both bowled really well. And we talk about those Warriors spinners and the Warriors bowling attack, but that was, what was it like facing that today? They had a lot going on in that <laughs> attack. Yeah, it wasn't easy to be fair, it was really tough. Um, but yeah, in the end, uh, I played it through and yeah, it was turning, it was bouncing, it was staying low, it was doing, yeah, whatever, but yeah. I think it's a good toss to win. <laughs> um, but you batted well today. Do you feel good out there, despite the fact that it was difficult facing up against those bowlers? Yeah, I think for me it was really, really tough, but uh, I kept fighting and I didn't give up. So that's one thing I can take from this game. Uh, and Sana, what's it like to be back with the Sapphires family after a year away from each other? Of course, we have got uh, quite a few changes in the Sapphires group and we've got some uh, old players with us as well. So hopefully we can gel in uh, better together. Uh, of course, on the field, the team is totally gelled. But on the field, it's very important to put together a performance in all three departments. So we'll be looking forward to doing that in the next game. And what do you think is the sort of plan other than gelling together um, between now and the next game? I think we all know our roles really well. There's a lot of clarity of the roles within the team. We need to execute the roles uh, better. Uh, rest, I think the planning was really good. The coaching staff has worked really hard, uh, the support staff. It's only about the execution from the players and I think that's what we, are, we lack today. And for that, you've had a good year between this tournament and last year. What's it like to be back playing favourite cricket again? Uh, it's amazing. I think this is the highlight of the year for me. and. To be out there playing against and with the top, the top players in the world means so much for me, especially as an associate player. It's an unbelievable experience. It's, yeah, it's so good to be back. And you've got the likes of Sana Mir back as your captain for a second year. That must be pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, she's, she's so famous. <laughs> she's so famous. She knows so much about cricket and she also is so kind and um, she talks to everyone, makes everyone feel welcome, feel comfortable. So yeah, it's great to be back with Sana as my captain. Um, I would just say if we've got any questions, got any questions to come from the floor. So if you want to lift, you want to lift raise your hand, Maid and Anya, anyone with any questions? Nate would like to ask a question. Go ahead, Nate. Hello, Sana. This is uh, Nate Hayes from Emerging Cricket. Hello. Um, there were three Americans on. Hello, I believe there are three Americans on the Sapphires this year. Um, today, Gisika bowled a single over. Without putting any words into your mouth or assuming anything, can you comment on the uh, reasoning there? Yeah, I think uh, we wanted to take wickets. Uh, we, we we were going with more experienced bowlers like uh, Shabna Miswail, uh, Catherine Brandt and uh, uh, Natasha Ferrant, but I do feel Geets has come a long way. Um, we will be using her more definitely. She bowled really well in the last season as well. It was just there were very few runs on the board um, and we just tried to get as many wickets with more experience, but that's not uh, all for the tournament. I'm, I'm, I'm very sure that Geets is going to play a very important role for the Sapphires in, in this season. And Aditya has really impressed us all also. Uh, but with, with 11 uh, to go, we, we had to give chance to different pe people. So hopefully we'll see her uh, in the mix very soon as well. Um, anyone you. else got any questions? Question. I, think, I, think, I think that might be it. Well, be thank well, you both well, for joining well. us today. We'll let you go and get some much needed lunch, I'm sure. Thank um, you. Thank you. And so we're joined by winning captain Sindhu Sriharsha and player of the match, Phoebe Litchfield. Since what a way to start the tournament. How did that feel out there today? Well, it's amazing. I think the bowlers set it up really well for us. And I think, you know, we started off like Brycey being, you know, Brycey. I think she's come out really well uh, and gave us the wickets that we needed. And all of the six bowlers that we used uh, set up the batters and 
had the score on there and we had Phoebe out there to go out and chase it for us. Yeah, and Phoebe, your fair break debut looked like you've been out there forever. Um, what's it like to be part of this Warriors team and be able to go out and perform like that in your first game? Yeah, it was lots of fun, I think, um, to open the batting with Hayley Matthews. Is, you go out there with a bit of confidence because you're like, okay, cool. Um, you know, she scooped one for six um, pretty early on, so I thought, you know, I just went out there and tried to play the best I could and, um, yeah, got, got hold of a few, um, which was lucky enough. And you got to watch Fair Break from last year. What's it like to now be able to join up and be part of it? Yeah, it's cool. I heard amazing things last year from, you know, Nick Carey and, um, and the like, so I think, yeah, it's awesome to be part of and I'm really excited for the rest of the tournament. And Cindy, we ended last year with your first win, but you're starting off, it's one from one so far. That must feel pretty good for you. Oh, yes, definitely. And uh, like Phoebe said, I think it's the quality the new players have gotten, like I mentioned, in, uh, and we just have the quality, a better team, I feel like, since last time. Uh, the team has also come together uh, since the last time. It's The core is still there and building on with the new players. I think it's amazing. Um, looking forward to what we can do for the rest of the tournament. And have you all been staying in touch throughout the year, the Warriors family? Yes, uh, a little bit here and there. And we've met a few of them in the UAE qualifiers too. So as associate players, we do uh, tend to meet a lot during our qualifiers. Um, seen Minx a couple of times as well. So yes, we've kept in touch quite a bit as much as possible. And Phoebe, what was it like to be able to go to your 50 hitting Shabnam Ismail? back over ahead for six. I said to a team that I was like, that's probably the first and last six I'll hit uh, against Shabs because, you know, on a, on a normal ground with a, with a longer boundary, I don't think many people hit, um, hit Shabs straight. So, yeah, I'll take it definitely and I'll definitely have that over her. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a pretty cool way to go to your 50 and then off her. You wouldn't mind too much. Yeah, um, yeah. Um, I think we have some questions from the floor. Please raise your hand if you have any questions. Let's go with Nate Hayes, I reckon. Oh, Nate. Go ahead, Nate. Ask your question. Hello, ladies. Uh, first of all, Sindhu, um, congratulations on the win today. It's Nate from Emerging Cricket. Yeah, thanks um, so much, Nate. Yeah, it's it's awesome watching watching you all. Uh, it's at a semi reasonable hour right now. It's only it's only one a.m. Um, with the fair break coming to the USA in September, and six USA cricketers in this edition, and uh, obviously the the upcoming event in September in Houston, can you comment on what this tournament means in your eyes for the growth of the women's game in the USA? Well, I. I mean, just the announcement of that coming over to USA itself has brought in a lot of community together and you can already see the energy out there uh, in all of the girls wanting to be there, watch the game and play a part in the Fairbank tournament in September. And having six of us over here um, also means that we are setting up the others to, as role models to be able to follow somebody like Keats or you know, Aditi or all of them to see hard work put in. They oh, can Follow feel lucky. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> but yeah, I think we're just you know, giving them the direction or some kind of a role, a role model, so they can follow us. Yeah. Great. Thanks a lot, Sindhu. Thanks, Nick. Ananya has a question. She has some audio issues, so she can't ask it herself. To Sindhu, did you feel like you were keeping on a rank turner in Mumbai when your spinners were turning it square? And what can you take away from this experience? I actually loved uh, keeping. It's just that I was telling when I walked back, um, you don't get as many balls as keepers in T20 cricket. I can count the number of balls I kept in fair break last time because of the wicket that we were given. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed it. Um, I, I, as a keeper, you want the ball to come to you, and we were getting so many balls, and I, I definitely felt like it was, you know, it was good, and I was enjoying myself. Right, well, we won't keep you any longer. You can go away and get something to eat, which is definitely number one on the list after that performance. Um, thank you so much.
And Phoebe, treat yourself to a new pair of Blender Sunnies, and the sun is finally coming out in Hong Kong. Uh, <laughs> thank you both, and we'll see you in the next game. Thanks, guys. Thank you.